All right, you might remember my pot of oil back here. I'm going to show you another use for it other than beignets. What we're going to do right now is show you how to make General Tso's chicken. So to start off with, you're going to need some chicken. I've got chicken tenders, but you can also use chicken breasts. Boneless, of course. You're going to need some apple cider vinegar. You're going to need a little bit of cayenne pepper, optional on the Chinese five spice of the dragon. You're going to need some brown sugar. You're going to need some soy sauce, and you're going to need some cornstarch. That's all there is to it. But before we start on our chicken, what I'm going to do is get the sauce going. So we're going to come over here to the little pot. All right, we'll start off by putting three tablespoons of brown sugar into the pot. And this is kind of like doing the beer fillet wings in that what you're going to do is you're going to make the sauce and then you're going to cook the chicken and then you're going to put the chicken in the sauce after the fact. And we're going to put into that, we're going to add a tablespoon, in fact, two tablespoons of vinegar. One, two. We're going to add a tablespoon or two of soy. Glug, 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 glug. Glug, 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 glug. We're going to add just a wee hit of our five spice and if you don't have it it's optional but I, I like it it kind of it's kind of gives it a little pop and we're going to add a pinch and I mean a pinch of cayenne because you make it too much cayenne you're going to not only have the general you're going to have warfare going on and then last but not least we want about a teaspoon and you know again oh, okay tablespoon <laughs> of our cornstarch that's all right. I was looking forward to making a double batch of this anyway. So if you make too much sauce, you know what you have to do, right? Just double up on the ingredients, kids. The more sauce, the better anyway. Get one more hit of that. A couple hits of this. No big deal. And then just a little bit more sugar. And the trick is you want this to come to a slow simmer once it boils up a little bit. Then we'll be able to. Then we'll be able to make our sauce nice and thick. That's what the cornstarch was for. My assistant will hand me a spatula. Thank you. I'm just going to stir this because again, this anytime you're using cornstarch, you need to stir because it's going to thicken or it'll turn into paste if you're not careful. And then once we get this done, then we'll start working on our chicken, which is an even simpler process. If you've ever had a had General Tso's chicken in a restaurant, you know it's a it's a sweet and sour sauce, and you can either make a bunch of it and have it over rice. What we're going to do is we're just making a small batch so we can make these into pot stickers. So it'll be like having a uh, Chinese appetizers, and then all you have to do is cook your chicken. So we're going to do that in just a couple of seconds here, as soon as this thing comes up to a bubble. As you can see, it's already starting to thicken. Okay, lay in our chicken because the first thing you want to do is you're going to make these things into some nice bite sized pieces. Just lay them out and then we'll start cutting them up. I usually like them, you know, about an inch. And then you take them. You roll them around in the cornstarch over here. The trick is to coat them, but you don't want to have a ton of it on there. You know, you're not making donuts like we were on the last video. Get them coated. Because not only will this make them nice and crunchy, and we're using cornstarch for the simple reason that if we were using flour, it doesn't, doesn't get as crispy. We want these things to be nice and crispy. If you've ever had General Tso's chicken in a restaurant, you know that's it's crispy on the outside and tender on the inside and it's got that delectable sweet and sour sauce. So we want to get it as close to the real deal as we can. And just keep it up and until you got them all done. And you may stop. Let me just 
put them in the hot oil. This is the only pieces. It shouldn't take too long for them to cook. It's kind of like working with a wok in a Chinese restaurant, right? And that's why you got to have everything ready to go. I'll probably do this in two flights. These will cook pretty fast. And get a little brown. Almost there. Another 30 seconds. There you go. Big crunch of these here. And then what we'll do is transfer them into a bowl and sauce them up. Like I said, you can do these one of two ways, either as pot stickers like we're going to do tonight, or you can make rice and just a bigger batch of the sauce and have it as an entree. Sure there aren't any stragglers in the pot. Okay, we're good to go. Bring my bowl over here. Just want to drain them a bit. So you're not eating all the hot oil. And it's kind of like doing the uh, we do the wings. You take the sauce and you pour it on top of the chicken. There you have it. General So couldn't do it any better. See you next week on Man Cave Munchies.